Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss financial maths. In financial maths, we have a few different formulas. Now the first one that we are going to pay attention today is simple interest. When we are doing financial maths, the basic rule is to know which formula to use. So number one, you're always going to write down the correct formula. Number two, you're going to write down pain. Now what do each one of them stand for? P is your principal amount. Basically, what are you starting with? There is no rule that says P has to be higher than A or A has to be higher than P. The emphasis is what am I starting with? How much money do I have right now? A is your end amount. How much money are you ending up with? Altogether, when you started till the end, after all the changes and adjustments, how much do you have? I is the interest amount and N is for how long or how many times is it being invested. Now when we're starting with interest, we're going to start by writing down the formula. Then we're going to write down what do we have. The next is to simply substitute and get an answer. Let's take the following question. It says John invests 12,000 Rand for five years at a simple interest rate of 12%. Calculate the value of the investment after five years. So that is one part of the question. And calculate the interest received. Now that is important because it is two different parts to be answered or two different questions in one complex question. When we start, number one, we know we are going to use simple interest because they tell us in the question, John invests 12,000 Rand for five years at a simple interest. Number two, we write down our pain. So our P is what are we starting off with, which is 12,000. We don't know what we're going to end up with. Our interest is 12. Now, the best way to write it is 12 over 100. You can write it as 12%, but I prefer a fraction because later the questions get more complicated, especially in grade 11 and in grade 12. And then with adjustments, it becomes very difficult to write down the percentages. So a fraction for me is usually the safest way to go. Then N, how many years are you investing for? Five years. Now write down the formula. And fill in the information you have. Once you fill in the information, you have to familiarize yourself with the calculator. So you're going to press it in, 12,000 open brackets, 1 plus, and then you have the fraction button. 12 over 100, go out of the fraction, times 5, close brackets. So when they say, what is the value of the investment after five years? So they are talking now specifically about the A. After five years, John would have 19,200 Rand in the bank. But is that how much interest he received? No. What you're going to do is you're going to say 19,200 
subtract 12,000 is 7,200. So how much interest did he receive in the five years? 7,200. Thank you for watching.